Internet is the most widespread and readily adopted human technology ever. Over a period of less than three decades, Internet has grabbed more than 4 billion users. The Internet has provided many technological advancements in the field of telecommunication, perhaps completely reinventing the way we consume information, media, entertainment, and the way we encounter social situations and relationships. Digitalization of the human world through the web can produce profound changes in human behavior, and scientists are interested in linking these effects to any functional or anatomical changes in the brain neuroarchitecture. Human brain is highly plastic under novel and learning circumstances. This means it reconfigures its neuronal structure and chemistry to learn new things. More often, changes in brain structure and activity are aimed towards increasing the efficiency of a skill previously learned. Internet has a multitude of engaging stimuli that activate a variety of brain regions. Research studies have shown that the stimulus from the digital world is highly attracting and engaging. Prolonged interaction with some specific contents of the internet or internet as a whole can lead to characteristics of addictive behavior. Many symptoms of internet addiction resemble substance abuse disorder and pathological gambling. Studies and surveys have often shown that the internet industry has an ability of self-evolving attraction. This method enables the users to be increasingly engaged by the content of their choice. Indeed, soft tech companies associated with the internet have exploited the addictive nature of the digital world by creating a highly amiable user interface with engaging content. This hook uses for longer, without any regards to their well-being. Studies have even highlighted the habitual smartphone checking. These frequent quick inspections of a device, for incoming notifications or news, are thought to be the result of behavioral reinforcements of the information rewards, received immediately upon checking the device. This explains why we often peek into our phones just to find something interesting. Internet users are often involved in media multitasking, and are found to switch quickly between online activities. These switches have occurred, as frequently as 19 seconds, and more than 75% of all on-screen content is viewed for less than one minute. Measures of skin conductance during internet usage have shown, increasing arousal as the user approached the switching time, peaking at the time of switch, and declining afterwards. This shows that the user finds the changing content more rewarding. Many studies have found that engaging with such highly attractive stimulus is linked to a decrease in concentrating ability and an increased likelihood of being distracted by other stimuli. Such users perform poor in a distracting environment and require a greater cognitive effort to ignore distractions and focus on a task. Increasing evidence has begun to associate the internet with the development of ADHD in adolescence. In a research study, internet-using students were found to be more impulsive, hyperactive, and distracted. Even short-term online activity, in an extensively hyperlinked digital environment, such as online shopping for 15 minutes, produced a sustained, reduced attentional scope after returning offline. This resulting attention deficit points towards several causes, such as repetitive attentional shifts and multitasking. Internet can indirectly produce these effects by holding back an individual from engaging in proper social and academic activities, by reducing the creative thinking opportunities for the mind, or by simply interfering with sleep patterns. Recent studies have indicated that screen exposure can disrupt healthy sleep pattern. Slow-wave blue light emitted by LED interfere with natural circadian rhythms and produce changes in melatonin level and sleep quality. Nevertheless, screen exposure can negatively impact sleep onset, sleep duration, and increase nighttime awakenings. Poor sleep is associated with decreased functional connectivity and reduced gray matter, leading to a decreased cognitive performance. Internet use in children and adolescents impair cognitive enhancement and has been associated with poor language development and executive functioning. Indeed, this has been found in a study of children, aged between 8 to 12 years. Increased screen time and less reading time was associated with decreased white matter connectivity between regions controlling word recognition, language, and cognition. Another study has found decreased verbal intelligence in follow-up examinations of children with over three years of frequent internet usage. 
These changes are particularly evident in children and adolescents because their brains are relatively more plastic. Supernormal capacities of the internet provide a non-ideal environment for refinement of many higher cognitive functions during these critical years of brain development. The increasingly ubiquitous and accessible information found online has resulted in many changes in memory development, processing, and usage. Internet is storing nearly all factual information such as contacts, social circle, academic material, locations, and many other facts about our lives, not even known to us. Aspects of semantic memory, also known as the memory of facts, have been particularly affected. This is because the internet users most often remember the destination of their stored information, rather than the information itself. In this way, internet acts like a transactive or external memory, thereby reducing the requirement for storing and recalling facts or information. Research studies have shown that it's easier to recall information gathered from a printed encyclopedia as compared to the facts retrieved online. This is particularly due to the fact that online data searching and digitalized fact compilation fails to sufficiently recruit brain regions involved in long-term memory formation. Internet has changed the way we assess and value our knowledge. It is difficult to critically think over the knowledge gained while we're online because the flood of information and facts continuously consume our cognitive capability. Online social media has a unique ability to keep us in touch with distant friends and maintain weak friendships. Research studies found that the number of Facebook friends were significantly associated with amygdala volume. Another paradoxical finding indicated that regular internet and social media consumption increases the feeling of social isolation and loneliness. This might be due to the fact that more engagement with the internet spares us with less time to develop deep nurtured, real-life social relationships. It should be noted that social media interactions and digital communications can have many misadventures such as cyberbullying, hacking, and privacy manipulations. The rates of depression and anxiety among internet users, and particularly in adolescents, is alarming. Suggestions for poor mental health consequences due to social media points towards its content. Many social situations are manipulated or rigged for social media posting, and this often results in upward comparisons by the viewing users. The outcome of such comparisons might lead to unrealistic expectations from oneself. Stimuli that provoke such upward social comparison are relatively less in real-life settings. It is however clear to us that excessive internet usage can have many adverse consequences on physical, social and psychological aspects of life. Nevertheless, it is necessary to avoid the negative effects of pathological internet usage. Users should be aware of the fact that as in real life, not everything found online is to be trusted blindly. A huge amount of information on the internet is aimed at catching users' interest and is largely devoid of any truth. We should also be aware of the fact that social media can easily create unhealthy social trends. To avoid excessive exposure, it is feasible to set aside a time for viewing and replying to social media alerts, emails, and notifications. Avoiding evening and early night exposure to screen can help induce better sleep. Various graphic user interfaces, font styles, and text colors are being tested to increase user reading time and improve memory formation during digital reading. Researchers suggest engaging in a more active lifestyle, such as reading books more often or going more frequently for outdoor physical activities, or developing more real-life social relationships, can potentially counter many adverse effects of internet exposure.